A small device is ready to be used in a small town to make a big impact. Yeah, East Palestine is excited to make an important medical device available to all 4,700 residents. I told you about it in October, and Sunday there's a special meeting to share more or start signing up. The My ID program is ready to roll out in East Palestine. It's a medical information system which helps first responders provide care. And it gives us that rapid information that we may need should somebody be unresponsive or having some kind of medical emergency. My ID provides wearable devices or key fobs which have QR codes. Emergency responders use a camera phone to access important medical information. It shows them the underlying medical conditions you've supplied about allergies, medications, even emergency contacts. That information could impact treatment decisions if a person can't say it. All of the information is HIPAA compliant. We're not doing this to gain anybody's information to try and steal anybody's information. We're doing this to help the public in medical emergencies. My ID is available in East Palestine in Unity Township. The fire department will demonstrate it to other departments which provide backup. My ID can be used anywhere. Sunday, residents can learn more during a special meeting at the East Palestine Community Center. We want to bring people in to get um, signed up to pick their device that they want um, and just so we can see what, how, who all is interested in it. People who are ready can sign up and pick their device. It's free. The village has $5,000 in donations to cover the first phase of 250 devices. Anybody that's skeptical, please come on down, sit down, talk to us. We'll be happy to show you everything that goes on with it. We'll be happy to show you how secure it is. Now, people who sign up Sunday could get their devices within a couple weeks, and that's when my ID will go live. Any phone camera can open it, but there's no social security numbers or insurance numbers, which are included in the information. So that special meeting goes from noon to 7 Sunday. It's more of a stop by and get information session. It's being held at the East Palestine Community Center.